Hello everyone, Digital Girl here with eStoreKings.com. Today I'm going to be going through a tutorial on how to update the footer text uh, within your Shopify store, specifically the copyright text that is set by default. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of your Shopify store, you'll see that Shopify puts default copyright content here or text. So you'll see the copyright symbol, the year, the store name, followed by powered by Shopify. There are several reasons why you would want to change this text. Let's say, for example, you're creating a website for someone else. You may want to put, you know, website created by and then link it back to your site so that you can get more work. Um, you also may just want to slightly edit this, remove part of it, completely up to you. But one way or another, there are many people who do update this copyright text. So if you go over to your Shopify admin, and click on online store it'll bring you to an area where you can customize your theme so depending on the theme you can actually just um, hit the customize button and the theme will allow you to update the footer so currently we have the debut theme installed and if you go to the footer unfortunately it actually doesn't let you update the copyright information even when we click on theme settings, uh, you can update the social media icons. Let's say you want to add something, but it does not allow you to update the copyright information. Now, if you are using a paid theme, most likely you will be able to just simply edit the copyright information. There will be a field where you can just add or remove information. But in this case, we're actually gonna go into the code and update it there. So if you go back to the themes customization page, uh, let's say you were somewhere else, again, you'd click on online store and it would automatically bring you to this page. You'll want to click on actions and then hit edit code. Now, I know that this seems a little scary, but it really isn't, uh, especially when you're updating something that is only really just a line of text. So go ahead and hit edit code. And from there, you'll be brought to all of the Shopify theme files. In the search files field, type in footer and click on the footer.liquid file. So again, if you're not used to coding or you're not familiar with uh, Shopify store files, this may look a bit overwhelming, but to find uh, what we're looking for a little more quickly, you can hit the command or control F key and type in powered by or just powered is even enough and it'll actually bring you to the section uh, that we want to update so if you look here this is the copyright symbol this is the date and this is your shop name along with a link to your shop name so again we're looking at the copyright symbol the year and then your shop name and the link around the shop name on the next line, we have the Powered by Shopify link. So again, that would be this portion right here. So let's say we wanted to add, you know, website created by, by me, let's say. Now you'll notice here that there are a few different powered by links. So these are just different instances of where this information shows up throughout your website, depending also on you know which device you're on and that kind of thing. So you'll want to copy this and add it to the other section as well, the other section, sorry. So now if we hit save, we go and refresh our page you'll see that the new little bit of text has been added so now you may want to do even more than that let's say you wanted to link it somewhere you can add a link around it now that'll look like a href equals and let's say we want to go to use this as an example so this here is the beginning of the link 
and we basically need to wrap the text and finish and close the link, close the A tag. So this will be the link around the text. And again, you'll want to copy and paste it into the other sections here. So I'm actually just gonna overwrite the other ones as well. We're gonna go ahead and save. So if we refresh the page, you'll now see a link and it'll take us to Google. So we've gone ahead and added something to the copyright footer information at the bottom of our Shopify store. But let's say we wanted to delete something. We could go ahead and do that as well. So for example, let's say we want to get rid of the comma here or even our store name for some strange reason we wanted to get rid of that. We can do that as well. So again, here is the copyright symbol. And this would be the date followed by that comma that I want to get rid of. So very easily just delete it. And then the Shopify store name is here. So we can delete that as well. So again, the comma followed by the Shopify store name as well as the link. We'll delete it from all places, save. If we go ahead and uh, refresh the page, you'll see that it is now gone. So I hope that you found that useful and you're now well equipped to update the Shopify footer copyright information on your store. Again, this has been Digital Girl with eStoreKings.com. Be sure to check out the website for more tutorials and online learning.